Veterans receive all kinds of thanks and donations for their service, but none as sweet as the scoop Sergeant Ashley Torres got in the Midwest. That has to look good and taste good. It's not just ice cream. It's Whitey's ice cream, a household name in the Midwest, and the reason a soldier had to ask. How about coming up with a flavor to honor the military? We said, great idea. So we started uh, experimenting with uh, different types of ice cream. And what they made. You can't really see it too much, but it's uh, tacky over here, marshmallow here, and then khaki over there. Camo. Pull that off. Ice cream. And as you can see, once it's cold, it, it truly does look like summer camo. But that was a major challenge, trying to get the right colors and to make it look like that. The name came easy. We decided to honor the non-coms and they enlisted by calling it Sergeant Camo. <laughs> and all the profits go to military veterans groups. We appreciate and enjoy our military and our freedom is because of it. Uh, we learned from our mother and father that you should always give back to your community. And now with Sergeant Camo, our community has grown. All facets of the military uh, can benefit and hopefully will benefit from the sale of Sergeant Camel. John's even taken it to the troops. We took 360 gallons of ice cream down to Fort Bliss to feed the Texas National Guard before they deployed. So whether it's miles away or at the local parlor, it's the vest, apparently to the last drop. Sergeant Ashley Torres, Moline, Illinois. Mm. Oh, for the love of God. Did you plan on sharing well, any of that? I didn't plan on it. I don't think so. Well, that does it for this edition of Army News Watch. Join us again next time for the stories that make America's Army. Come on, get in on this, man.